lot easier than last time. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't fall off. So when we were towing it out last time, like the funnel ends up dragging a lot, like just getting set up. So the idea was to put the funnel kind of as close as we could so that the funnel drags as little as possible is the goal. So then try to stretch the rope out so it doesn't, or the hose out so it doesn't get all tangly tangly. I don't know, what am I doing? Is this silly? All right, so the hose is still on reeling. Okay, the funnel's moving. All right, here we go. Looks good. Ah! All right, so I'm gonna put the airplane on the center line, and the question is, where does the cone end up with the crosswind? Okay, uh, when you first started coming down the runway, it was very, fairly center. As you got slower, you got more and more off to the side of the runway and got almost to the far left side of the runway. Okay, but it never left the runway? Negative. Okay. All right, I'll be back in about uh, 30, 45 minutes. All right. Thank you, sir. Make an overhead first, or uh... yeah, first uh, I'll just go down the center line, and uh, we'll confirm again that the, we want to be offset to the right uh, as far as possible. So this will just be center line. This is uh, in landing configuration at approach speed. All right, come up on the center line. Speed looks good. Probably almost dragging now, huh? You got about two feet. That looked good. The wind's died down, I think. All right, so that was the center line, and you're saying you think that'll keep the cone on the center line, or on the runway? Correct. All right, we'll give it a go. All right, we're configured, and I'm going to land uh, pretty much on the center line, or maybe just a left wheel on the center line, so slightly offset to the right. Speed looks good. Everything's good. Awesome. And I'm going to save the turn if you don't mind disconnecting me here on the runway. I'm headed down there. Thanks.